The court ruled that the structure should be demolished. The demolition took today in the morning, early hours, around about 0700 hours. Now I said that we don't get to see the I have prayed in the mocks for about 30 years now. The land belongs to the government. It is not for an individual. The angry youth set fire in the middle of the street to register their displeasure. They are blaming an unidentified owner of a nearby property for the pull down. We hear a certain lady wants to build stores on the land. It was early in the morning that we heard the mocks had been demolished. If you look carefully, the land belongs to the government. Those people are here to not understand this, what is happening, because the case is on court. They never finish the case. They come break them up. This house behind me, to my right side, uh, that people take the case out of court. This issue is not the uh, big smokes. It's here almost 60 years. Police, however, say the action was taken following a court order. The superintendent of police, Mr. Amir Afriye, a Zongo district police commander. The case under uh, 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 contention in the court of appeal. Uh -huh. And the court ruled that the structure should be demolished. Well, it is alleged that the house owner is the one who owns the plot in front of it. That is the allegation we are having. And they themselves admit that the person who built the mosque was staying in this house. That he passed on about two years ago. Yes. Imam of the mosque, Al Haji Yaya, says it was a deliberate act to eject them from what is considered government land. <laughs> We know the land does not belong to them. It is for the government. If the government had ordered us to vacate, we would have, but not an individual. Now, they have demolished the mosque. Mahmoud Mohamed Nuruddin reporting.